Okay, we have a very important topic today. We are talking about homeowners insurance in the great state of California and what fun it's been and it's continuing to be. <laughs> oh yes, no, it's a real problem. Insurance has skyrocketed. I mm -hmm. mean skyrocketed in the last six, seven, eight months. It's unbelievable. Yeah, so we're going to go through. This is an article from the California Association of Realtors magazine that we get. And I just thought, let's just review it because I know it just happened to us. We've been canceled in two states and have had uh, had a very difficult time getting our homeowners rewritten in California, which just happened uh, this month. So it was very challenging. So I'm sure some of you are having the challenges too. So let's talk about insurance. One of the reasons it's gotten so difficult and challenging is uh, seven of the 12 largest name insurance companies in California have announced they will limit or stop renewing policies in high fire areas and also um, whatever they deem. <laughs> whatever they deem they don't want to renew. Now, based on our experience, it's two carriers that are left, AAA and Mercury. Now, that's different than what they're saying here. We're talking about practical experience on what we've gone through. Yeah, that's what we found out. I mean, some people that are long-term 30, 40 year customers of some of these um, name brand insurance companies are getting renewed because I've been talking to ev everyone about their insurance. Um, and so, I mean, every situation is, di is different. So we're talking in generalities here, um, but we're just talking about what's happening. So um, it's starting to affect home sales because buyers can't get insurance or the cost of insurance turns out to be um, more than they're willing to pay. Like examples like 5,000 to 50,000. I mean, big, big changes um, to satisfy the mortgage carrier's requirements. Um, so the rising construction costs, like I said, wildfires and regulations uh, are what is creating a bottleneck here, but there are plans underway. Yes, it's usually a high, rec <laughs> high regulation factor that comes in. Mm -hmm. One of the things, there's a rule here I'll get to in a second uh, about it. But <laughs> anyway, Allstate and State Farm are not currently accepting new applications. Um, Farmers has scaled back USAA, stricter wildfire safety standards. Uh, they will only ensure you if your wildfire safety risk score is below 12 out of 32. So that's a scale, I guess an insurance scale that goes to 32. They placed you know, restrictions on new policies. Chubb stopped writing. Um, AmGuard uh, has 50,000 active policies in the state of California. They're not gonna renew them. Um, Hartford declared in January 24, they would no longer be writing new policies beginning in February. So if you're with any of those, you probably already know that. So part of it is the high cost to insurers that they have to get their rate increases through the California Insurance Department and they will not let them raise the rates the way they want to, plus it's a long lead time. So that's part of the reason why the insurers just said, fine, forget it. <laughs> yeah, they don't want to operate at a loss, and mm -hmm. you can't blame them. Nobody goes into business to lose money. Right. That's Proposition 103 was passed by voters in 1988 when you couldn't raise rates more than 7% without the approval of the State Department of Insurance. Well, all, we all know everything's gone up more than 7%, certainly everything, gas, food, everything, but also building materials. <laughs> um, just roofing ma roofing materials is an example they used here have gone up 40%. So, you know, 7% increase is not gonna cover the 40% increase in the building materials. Well, basically what we've seen, a new roof, let's say 2018, 2019, prices have doubled yeah. since then. If you want a new roof, think about twice what you were gonna spend just five years ago. Once, um, kind of like how the mortgages work, once you buy a homeowner's policy, it, it gets sold or they, they, there's a reinsurance process. So the insurance company has insurance to insure them against the losses. And the premiums on that reinsurance have gone up 50%. So that's part, another problem that the expenses that the insurance company has behind the scenes have gone up astronomically. Yeah, there are a lot of big companies out there in reassurance, and Berkshire Hathaway just happens to be one of them. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that you can do if you fall into a high risk or having problems getting your homeowner's insurance um, renewed is you can talk to your fire department or your local authorities, and they can come out and do an inspection. And sometimes your insurance carrier, of course, talk to your insurance carrier first to make sure that, that they will you know, let you do this. 
But if you can prove maybe that your abatement is done and that you're, you've done what you need to, to do, you might get a renewal or you might get a policy. So that's one thing that you can do to try and mitigate that. Um, the, yeah, be sure and check with your insurance company mm -hmm. first before you get mm -hmm. a government agency like the fire department involved in this process. There are insurance companies that are writing that are not, they have a word in here, but like accredited. Um, so just be careful with that because if they go under, you go under. They, if you have a loss and they've gone under, you don't have any coverage. And then the issues that people are having with California Fair Plan, let's talk about California Fair Plan. That's kind of the catch-all. If you can't get insurance anywhere else, it's California Fair Plan, which covers only fire and only up to 75% of your loss. That doesn't include any contents, anything else that a regular homeowner's policy would cover. You can buy secondary insurance to your fair plan to cover some of that, um, but that's probably more than we want to talk about right now. But the reason the California fair plan is taking up to six months to get a policy out is because uh, they had 200 and I wrote down 270,000 requests for fair plan. And that is just more than they could ever possibly get a hold of. So it is taking months, which is affecting escrows because if you need fair plan and the escrow is supposed to close in 30 days and it's going to take you six months to get a quote it's a problem <laughs> yes yes fair plan government insurance is what mm -hmm. they're talking about there mm -hmm. yeah so they were set up to be a last resort kind of policy now they're um, first yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> crazy but, but it is kind of entertaining based on some of the things that they come out and say hey you know what you can't have artificial turf the fake grass against your house well that was kind of the big buzz during the drought the last several years mm -hmm. is rip out your grass and put in fake grass that's supposed to be very friendly yes. guess what it's uh, very flammable <laughs> <laughs> oops um, again check with your local with your carrier and your local fire de department because all of these things change literally house to house depending on what what's around you so upside what is being done um, the california department of insurance is working on a plan so okay how long is that going to take but here's Government what in action that's right but here's what they're saying they're gonna do get major insurance policies to write high risk so they're gonna make them write uh, write it we'll see um, unburden the fair plan, like I just talked about, homes and businesses that adhere to the safer from wildfires mitigation regulations will be the first given priority off the fair plan. Fair plan is expensive too. So one of the things, if you have to get fair plan, they said check again in six months and see if you can get a better deal. Um, so if you have to take fair plan, maybe only pay for six months of your fair plan and then see who's coming back. Cause we've heard you know, rumors of everything, you know, people are leaving, coming, you know, we'll see what happens, but um, definitely try in six months to see if you can find something cheaper. Well, I haven't heard any rumors of people coming back. I've heard them talk about it. They're There's a hundred new it. companies coming. Right. Guess how many have we seen come in? Zero. None yet. Um, one of the things that's an issue for the insurance company is they haven't let them use um, ca catastrophic uh, modeling so they can uh, decide which house is in a more catastrophic place than the other. So then they have to discharge everyone. Well, they're trying, they're saying here they want to permit the insurance companies to do catastrophic modeling. So the houses that are, you know, in that kind of place, like that one, I guess, that's been on the news lately that's falling off the cliff in Orange County somewhere, that would probably fall into catastrophic modeling, wouldn't yeah. you think? <laughs> yeah, Isla Vista, they're kind of all over along the coast that uh, they're going in. And then they say, um, update the fair plan primarily for commercial insurance and raise the coverage limits of 20 million per structure. So those are the four things they have planned to try and help mitigate it. Um, but you know, we shall see. Um, I know it's been challenging for us personally and lots of our clients that we've talked to. Absolutely, and when they say upgrade the fair plan, that means grow the government. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it, it's really a challenge. So I know lots of people are dealing with this. So if you, um, if anything we can do to help, I know that we've only, like you said, found AAA and Mercury at the moment, but you never know. That landscape changes every single day. It does, and we have resources. I mean, I can remember back a few years ago, if you needed insurance, you could go get 20 quotes from 20 different companies. Mm -hmm. Not today. Yeah, that is not the case now. So... Anyway, if you have any questions, we always try and keep you up to date with what is the latest and greatest. And I know that this is a hot topic right now is homeowners insurance. 
Yes, hot topic, especially the fire insurance right. part. So you know where to find us. GaryandLisa.com. Your real estate edge. Thank you.